Najam Najafi, the team's second largest stakeholder, called for majority owner Robert Sarver's resignation in an open letter to team employees released on Thursday night, saying there should be zero tolerance for lewd, misogynistic, and racist conduct in any workplace. Sarver was banned from the NBA for one year, fined $10 million. After the NBA on Tuesday released its findings from a 10-month independent investigation into allegations of workplace abuse during Sarver's tenure as a managing partner of the Suns. Stephen A., should Sarver be forced to resign? Yeah, I think so. I, I think with the momentum swelling, um, with the allegations that have been levied against him, the fact that he hasn't been in a position to deny them, uh, he talked about things being taken out of context, but nevertheless, he did not, he did not deny that there was any truth uh, to the findings. And so when you take that into consideration, along with the $10 million fine, which is the most that the NBA could exact against them, according to its bylaws, you take that into consideration, along with the fact that it was just a year's suspension, when the banishment of the previous owner, Donald Sterling, with the Clippers years ago, had taken place, you're looking for consistency. That's what we're talking about here. You know, certainly the two don't equate, and please, Molly, understand that I'm not trying to, cre uh, to equate the two. But on many, many occasions when we speak about the issue of, of, of domestic violence and things of that nature, one of the things society has come to religiously lament is the fact that video and, or audio was needed in order for these matters to be addressed with, you know, expeditiously and with the level of severity that it requires. People say you shouldn't need the audio and video. Well, one could argue that obviously this is not the same thing, and we understand that my previous mentioned scenario was far more significant and vile and serious than this. These were just words and, and behavior. At the end of the day, it shouldn't be required here either. You don't, no, you don't have an audio, and you don't have a video of Robert Sarver doing this, but he hasn't denied that it's true. There are a multitude of people who have confirmed it's true. The star of his franchise says that the penalty, has, the penalty hasn't been enough. A minority owner for the Phoenix Suns is calling for his oyster. Not to mention a minority owner has acknowledged he doesn't want majority ownership. He would play a role in assisting whoever that new majority owner would be, but it's not like he's lobbying to replace Sarver and be in that position. So you take all of those things into consideration, along with the level of discomfort Adam Silver clearly exhibited with his press conference, and then you bring into account the symbolism of what things were supposed to be. Here we're talking about this is, there's no doubt that you, a doubt has been cast as it pertains to symbolism because of what the NBA had purported itself to be and the players had purported itself to be since the whole social justice movement was taking place. You're talking about the National Basketball Social Justice uh, Coalition. All of these things that are in place were to address these kind of things from ever happening again or to continue to, or to continue in sullying the brand. We wanted to avoid all of these things. Well, how do you pull that off? How do you give the impression that you're moving in that direction if this man is still allowed to be the owner of the franchise? I anticipated that the findings would be that there wasn't truth to what was alleged was, was it, what, what was alleged against Robert Sarver. I didn't expect it to be confirmed. And once it's confirmed, well, and you get penalized, well, why is it just a year? And so that's where I'm at. LeBron James and Chris Paul, again, I support their positions. I just don't support how slow they were to state what mm -hmm. they stated. I thought they should have spoken up much, much earlier. I think had they done so, it might have been a stiffer penalty that came down upon Robert Sarver, and we wouldn't be in this position. But the fact is we are, and the NBA has another owner that is associated with stuff that's highly offensive to women, highly offensive to black people. And the reality is that something needs to be done about that. What it is specifically, I don't know. I'm not saying, you know, I don't mind that he, if he's gone based on the allegations that have been levied against him. But what I do know definitively is that it should have been more than a year. And it hasn't. And because yeah. of that, that leaves us all scratching our heads saying, you know something? This is just not a good look. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.